Nothing can ruin a web meeting more than poor audio. And you don't want to be that guy that sounds so bad it's hard to concentrate on what they are actually saying. With everyone dialing into meetings from home these days, this has become an even bigger problem. Stay tuned for two tools of the trade every remote meeting participant should consider. Every meeting participant should have a high quality wired USB headset, period. As a general rule, wired is better than wireless. The right USB headset will give you the highest quality of audio possible, where other attendees will hear you loud and clear. And wired headsets don't require charging or pairing. These days, I'm using the EPOS Sennheiser Adapt 165. By the way, I'll post links to the products mentioned in the description below. And while my friends at EPOS Sennheiser did supply a few devices for me to try out, this is not a sponsored video. These are devices that I would use anyway as part of my daily work. The Adapt 165 is a high quality USB headset that has terrific sound quality whether joining a Zoom call or even listening to music or gaming. It has a comfortable fit and the inline controls make muting and unmuting very simple. It is my daily driver for phone calls and web meetings. But my favorite feature of this particular headset is that it also has a 3.5 millimeter audio connection, which means you can also use it as a wired headset for your tablet or smartphone. Cool, right? You can find them online for between $80 and $100, which for a device you use for hours every day, it is well worth it. As much as I love my headset, there are times where I either want to just listen to a presentation via speaker, or I'm in a room with a group that needs to join a web meeting. That's why I also have the Sennheiser USB speakerphone, the EPOS Expand 30. I really like being able to have a high quality option when dialing in with a group, and the sound quality with the USB connection is far better than the speaker on a cell phone. I also like it for listening into meetings where I'm not presenting and I'm not concerned with sounding my best. Sometimes I just don't want to wear a headset, and I like the speaker as an alternative. Like the USB headset, the Expand 30 is also a multitasker, allowing a wireless connection to either a computer or mobile device. The Bluetooth connection works well with my iPhone and iPad, though Bluetooth limits the audio quality. You can also use the provided dongle to connect to a computer, allowing for things like call control from the device. Another advantage to the Expand 30 is it has a battery that supports up to 18 hours of talk time, making this a great device to take out into the field or to travel with. This device is a little pricier than a headset, coming in at under $200 online. So maybe it isn't for everyone. It is certainly a great option for huddle rooms and folks that collaborate in both real and virtual teams, or folks like me that just want to have all the bases covered at all times. These are two great tools of the trade, devices that I love and are with me both at home and on the road. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in a full product walkthrough, let me know. I provided links to the devices mentioned in this video if you'd like to learn more. And if you have a technology solution you'd like for me to review on a future episode, please let me know. See you next time, and don't forget to subscribe to On Convergence.